Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm very good. Great, great. How's everything? Everybody's worried about the rain. Well, I was in, in the afternoon, I was in the house of the grandma of my, my husband. My grand, oh, okay, my husband's grandma's house. Yeah, uh, and... <laughs> and when we came to uh, our house, almost our home. Okay, este casi no cae el agua. Por segunditos nos salvamos. Well, the good thing is that you are home and everything is fine. Right? Oh, there's your son. Yeah. How old is he? How old is he? He is nine years old. Oh my gosh, nine he's big old. already. I'm he's, <laughs> he's big already. <laughs> well, but the good thing is that you're at home because right now, I mean, the situation is kind of difficult for some people, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Sorry that I'm fixing something, man. Don't worry. It's Take your time. Me, it's giving me problems. Okay, and what time did you get home right now? You told me that it was almost raining. What time was it? Eh, almost, almost five. Five p.m. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, well, it's fine. Five p.m. It's okay. Today was my day off, so. <clears throat> oh, you had time to share with your family. Yeah. <clears throat> That's nice. That's very nice because I mean, sometimes it's, it's very important to, to, to have the opportunity to enjoy with your family, to share and sometimes we don't have the time to do it right yeah. mm. sometimes the time is not mm, not enough not enough enough uh -huh. not enough okay mm. yeah, i understand you totally in my case it happens a lot because i mean i'm always working and sometimes the I don't have the chance to share with my family. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult. Actually, it is. Eh, sobre todo cuando son niños pequeños. Yeah. Yeah, when my son was little, I was working outside of San Salvador. I mean, I was out for like five years. So I understand you. I mean, it's hard, it's hard. Mm -hmm. it's really hard. As I yeah, as I tell you, I mean, mm. for me it was like five years being out of here and not having the chance to, to share with him and stuff. It's not easy. 
Ya, <coughs> sobre todo when... Eh, bueno, cuando se, se enferman. Get sick. Yeah, when they get sick. Yeah, mostly when they get sick. I mean, what can you do? If you are out of here, you are not close. I mean, it's more difficult. Pretty difficult. Well, the good thing is that you are here in class. Welcome. Nice talking to you, Gabriel. Thank you. Catherine, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How's everything? Damn. Tell me. Espera, permítame. Antes que, que todo, profe, fíjese que me estaba costando para entrar porque hay muy mala señal. Yeah, I understand you. Entonces, that's, a veces that's happening to lo escucho, us. pero no, no veo que se mueva ni nada. Y a okay. veces lo, veo que se mueve, pero no lo escucho. Cuando le voy a hacer una sugerencia, cuando le esté pasando eso, desactive unos minutos la cámara. La cámara. Yep. Mm, bye. Y va a escuchar correctamente. Lo que pasa es que recuerdes que la cámara le está gastando recursos y si tenemos mala señal. That's a problem. Mm, vaya, profe. También que casi no le escucho. O no sé si yo estoy hablando muy fuerte, pero casi no le escucho. Por igual lo oh. de la lluvia. Es que está lloviendo oh. algo recio acá en Sonso. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a problem. Sí, It's ahora problem. estaban comentando que había habido una especie de... Se había salido el agua <laughs> allá en cara sucia y ahora fui a cara oh, sucia. Really? Sí. Y ha estado mero complicado. Habían evacuado a las personas. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how the situation is going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to Sulután, then I'm going to La Unión. So we will see. A mí me toca ir mañana por a, al otro lado a ver qué tal. Because it's, it's difficult. So, Buenas noches. How was your day? Hello, Claudia. How was your day, Catherine? Um, mm, very good. Okay. And what did you do today? Un poco malo, de hecho, <laughs> cambiando la respuesta. <laughs> Estuvieron malas las ventas, bro. Oh, that's bad. Está solo, la gente no quiere comprar nada. Yeah, Ahorita no. se están preparando para el apocalipsis, creo yo. Yeah, that happens, that happens. I mean, remember that. Uh, uh, besides that, the the weather is, is a problem. El clima está afectando. Hola, profe. The weather is affecting. El clima está afectando. Ah. People don't want to go out. Sí, profe. Está de verdad en la, en, durante el día. Hizo un calor. It was hot. It was hot during the day. It was. Ay, me cuesta pronunciarlo. It was hot. It was Say. hot during the day. During the day. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Me quedé en la luna, pero. Estuvo cálido durante el día, o estuvo caliente, o hizo calor. It's the ah. same expression. Okay? Ah, ok. You say it like this. It was hot during the day. Like this, you see? It was hot during the day. During the day, yep. Entonces, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. It's been, as I told you, it's been difficult for a lot of people. Hola, profe. It's been difficult these days. It has been difficult. Ah, sí. Sí, profe. Realmente sí. 
para todo, creería yo. Yeah, I know, I mean. But we have to, to have a good attitude. That's something very important every day to have a good attitude. Uh, hola. It's very important to have a good attitude. Yes. Es muy importante tener Siempre una buena positividad. Yeah. Antes que iba al gimnasio me decía mi entrenador, positividad sobre negatividad, aunque llegara más muerta que viva. Yeah, I mean, that's very important. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Kathy, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Okay, Atenas, hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Um, very, very tired. Okay, okay. Do you have a good, uh, hard day at work? Yes. Um, eh, me tocó hacer varias actividades. I had to do many activities. Sí, yes. It goes like this, let me see. Goes like this, look. I have to do many activities. Oops, I'm sorry. This, this, this. Mm -hmm. I have to do many activities. Well, yeah, a hard day, I imagine. And tell me, how was the weather in your case? Um, it was very nice. In the morning, very hot. In afternoon, and rain it was raining mm -hmm. raining it's correct okay well then yeah the weather has been like difficult right mm -hmm. but there's no way out of it hello i'm so sad Atenas, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Sorry. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Let's see who else is around. Uh, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Because, how do you say toda la semana? All week. All week? Because all week, home office. Oh, really? That's yes. cool. At least you can rest, at menos you rest a little bit more, the cancer un poco más. Right? Hello, Karen. Hola. No le escuché, perdón. At least you can rest a little bit more. Al menos puede descansar un poco más. Yes. 
and that's nice that's nice i mean yeah because you don't have to wake up early like you can you can be more relaxed what time um, do you wake up also because what? i remain okay uh, at what time night of night i am and oh, 3 p.m <laughs> 9 a.m. a meeting, that's that's cool. Okay. When I have when I have home office, my co-workers start sending messages at six or before. Okay. Six. Six. Wow. Yeah. So believe me. You got it soft. Hey Karen, that's nice. That's nice. And tell me, when you when you have home office, what time do you have lunch? And um, 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Okay. What time do you finish working? Um 5 30 or 6 p.m. Yeah, because sometimes when we have home office, I, I think. I think that sometimes some of us have to work even more. Yeah, exactly. More activities. Mm, yes. Yeah, that happens to me. I mean, if I have home office sometimes, man, it's at night and I'm still working. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit complex. I mean, it's got benefits, but, um, you know, we've got things for and against. I pro and contra. And that's normal. Karen, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Angelica, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, so, so. So, so? Why? Um, how do you say it? I, I was in the hospital, my dad. Oh, so bad. I'm so sorry to hear that. Come on, Luis. Yeah, those situations are difficult. And you have to work today. Uh, repeat. You have to work to work at uh, I rest. Oh, okay. Well, uh -huh. At least, at menos. Uh, no, 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 Okay, at least. I, at least, al menos. Uh, okay. I, so, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Those situations are always difficult. Sí, es un poco difícil el día, pero... Let's hope, let's hope it gets better. Okay, well, thank you very much, Angelica. Nice having you here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let me just do a little something.
Okay, well, let's see who else is around. Hey, Brian. Hello, Brian. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, Sosi. So so? Yes. Okay, why? Tell me why. Por qué? Por qué más o menos? Demasiado mm. pesado el día. E igual, oh, really? cuando salimos de trabajar estaba fuerte la lluvia y pues nos bañamos. Oh my gosh. That's, <laughs> that's bad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad, that's bad. Yeah, I can imagine it's, I mean, it's, it's good if you are going home. It's bad when you get wet on your way to your job. That's terrible. Es más horrible cuando nos mojamos, cuando vamos a, cuando vamos hacia el trabajo, right? Eh, cierto, porque todo el día tendría que andar mojado. Yeah, that's terrible. At least, at least, al menos, when you get home, I mean, you dry off, se seca, and get warm clothing, and that helps. Y es un poco ayuda. But man, to spend all day wet, you know what kills me is to get my feet wet. A mí lo que me mata es en el día, mojar los zapatos. Man, my feet get cold. Se me vienen los más pies and I todos, suffer. Todos los, los calcetines, más los calcetines como bien, bien, bien mojados, o sea, más helado todavía. Yeah. But, you know something funny? Uh, in my case, I, I, I always carry in my backpack an, uh, an extra pair of socks. Yo siempre ando un par de calcetines extra. Por las dudas. Because, I mean, I suffer. I suffer for that. Yeah, I mean, I do. I always carry an extra pair of socks. Siempre ando un par aparte. Because... Pero si el zapato está mojado. Se volvió a mojar. Yeah, I know. But believe me, it helps. Pero créame, ayuda. A little bit, but it helps. Because, I mean... The problem is this. Sometimes I'm going to work riding a motorcycle. It's a very moto. And that's terrible. I mean, your feet get sucked through. Los pies terminan sucked through. Oh, this is a nice expression for me. And let's see. Sucked through. Empapados. Because I mean wet means mojado, húmedo. But soft means completely. That's totally. And that's terrible. Okay. Well, thank you, Brian. Welcome. Let's see, let's see who else is around. <laughs> Katia, hello, Katia. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, yo digo que um, very good. Thank, thank you. Too good. Okay. Very good. You say very good. Usted dice. Okay. Thanks, God. Oh, this is what you were trying to say, I guess. Hold on. Thanks, God. Gracias a Dios. 
right? Sí. Right. Oh. Well, tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Okay, so. Very good. <laughs> okay. Um, so I sat for eating too much. Really? Yes. Eating too much? <laughs> Why? Sí, yes. You didn't get to work? You stay home? Um, very good. Um, um, on my own. My day? My uh, day? bien. <laughs> it was okay. Perfect, perfect. That's nice. Sí. Thank you, Katia, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Well, guys, let me get the attendance, please. Ana Maritza Flores Cervellón. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Present. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Lisa. Present Esmeralda. teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Present, Guadalupe Zavalla. Gabriela, okay, is there. Karen de Sirem and Kibar de Sanchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubías. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. En Xiomara Yamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Teacher me mencionó. Yes, Gabriela. Say your name. I'm sorry, I'm present. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya. Thank you. Present. <laughs> okay, okay. No problem, no problem. Let me check, yeah, we still got time to talk a little bit. Tenemos tiempo aún para hablar un poquito. So let's see, Marvin, hello Marvin, how are you? Well, more, well, more or less. So, 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 so. You can say so, so. Or you can okay. say not so bad, not too bad. Or you can say, oh, I can complain. Okay. Esas expresiones pueden ser lo mismo para decir más o menos. Can complain, not so bad, so so. Okay. okay. So, how was your day? ¿Qué tal el día? Wait, I, wait, the day was bad because nothing was. Question? Oh, ouch. Yeah, that's bad. That's a bad day. Yes. Well, let's, let's hope tomorrow will get better. Esperemos que mañana esté mejor. Eso esperamos. Yeah, I mean, you know, in sales, that's the situation. I mean, that, that happens, right? Some days are very good and some days are very bad. Yes. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's complex. Tomorrow, race. Day. Oh, that's good. Well, you can charge batteries for the recargar baterías, right? Yeah. Repeat yeah, class. Yeah. yeah, you can 
you can check the classes, you can relax. And it's always good to have time on, on your own. Es bueno tener tiempo para uno. Nice having you here, Marvin, and welcome. Thank you, Alicia. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Esmeralda, hello, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Can't complain. Okay, can't complain. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, okay. And tell me, how was your day? Oh, it's very good. It's very good. Um, Ay, no me acuerdo cómo puso que... Ah, tenía tarde libre. Así que descansé. Oh, that's nice. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always good when you can rest. What did you do today in the afternoon then? ¿Cómo, perdón? ¿Qué, qué hizo? Ay. What did you do in the afternoon? <laughs> eh... I watch video, I watch video TikTok. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. So you were relaxed. Yes, and she loved in the afternoon. <laughs> that's nice, yeah, I mean. So in the afternoon you were chilling. Chilling, Chilling, you were chilling. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> you were chilling. Estuvo como relajada. Ah, ah yo lo sabía como chill out. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when you say, oh, when I ask you, hey, how are you? How was your afternoon? You tell me. No le pregunto. ¿Qué tal su tarde? Y me dice, ah, oh. ¿qué tal su día? Y me dice, ah, oh, chilling. I was chilling all day. Estuve relajada. Ok, es más fácil. <risa> ah, porque si yo como, como descanso en así, es el chill out, sabía. Yeah, yeah, but colloquially you just say, ah, oh, sí, I'm sí. chilling. Ok, yeah, gracias. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh -huh. Remember, I mean, Chill out is the correct and proper verb, but people say just chilling. O sea, chill out is todo correcto, lo más propio. Pero las personas dicen just chilling. Oh, okay. Genial. Yeah. Esmeralda, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now. We are going to start working. You're going to work in groups of three members. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. Today you are going to be speaking. I need you to use as much English as possible. Necesito que usen lo más que puedan el inglés. Okay, let's start forgetting Spanish. I know it's not easy. You take care of the principle just a little but let's make the effort. Okay, the activity you are going to do is a... Uh, you're going to say your job position. That's something you know. Es algo que ya saben, ¿verdad? Hablar sobre la job position. But now you're going to add a little bit. Se van a agregar un poco. How? Let me do the example. Déjenme darles un ejemplo. Okay, my name is Douglas Areval. I am an English teacher. I prepare classes. I check assignments, prepare classes, reviso tareas, and I plan classes, planifico classes. Those are some of my activities, okay, that I do on my job. So that's what you are going to do. You are going to say, you're going to give your name, 
you're going to say your jail position and you're going to tell three, at least three activities that you do. Al menos tres actividades que usted hace in English, okay? And you're going to share with your classmates. So I'm going to send you to the groups right now. Let's see. Okay, groups are created. Let me just check on something. Okay. Please guys, jump in. Ahorita, ¿quién está más ahí? Ay. Está quién es? Que no puedo logro ver yo por el teléfono. Oh, está... There's Katia, Som Xiomara, ah. María Teresa, Claudia Flamenco, Évalo. <risa> ok. Va, entonces. Entonces vamos, vamos a hacer eh, como las. Como okay, nuestra presentación. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. El lugar de trabajo y tres actividades que nosotros realizamos. ¿verdad? Yep. Okay. Okay. Vaya, entonces, Yo ahorita empezamos. voy en de paz, pero voy a lograr anotar un poquito. Vaya, entonces empecemos. Empecemos con usted, Tere. Es verdad. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la occupation primero? Remember, first the name. Douglas Arevalo. I'm an English teacher. I am an English teacher. And then the activities. Okay, y luego las actividades. Like, like uh, she's Atenas Vanegas. She's a lawyer. Y luego las actividades. At least three activities. Al menos tres actividades. Okay. Yeah. Vaya Marvin, eh, occupation. Su, eh, su jefe What? es vice, uh, vice deputy vice, chief. Vice or you manager. Can say, or you can say, yeah, vice manager. Vice manager. Product section, algo así. Ah, recepción. Recepción. Ah, creo. T I O N al final. ¿Verdad, teacher? O no sé. What do you mean? Receptionist? Uh -huh. Recepcionista. Receptionist. No, recepción de producto. Oh, no, 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 uh -huh. no. Receiving. Receiving. Permite Re decir. Receiving. Receiving. Profe. Uh -huh. Like this. Y lo, lo que teníamos que describir referente a nosotros sobre las actividades dentro del trabajo. Yes, like this, look like I am Douglas Arevalo. I am an English teacher. Y luego menciono tres actividades que yo realizo. Okay. Wait, entonces sería reciben productos. Vamos a, tenemos que copiar, copiar lo del otro. Exacto. Eh. Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo, se, ¿Cómo sería vender medicina? Eh, Sell medicines. Please, please. Sell medicines. Okay. ¿Y cómo sería limpiar vitrinas? Clean. 
Oh, well, mm -hmm. the thing is this. Uh, I mean, uh, how can I explain this? Uh, it's showcase. Showcase. Showcases in plural. Mm -hmm. clean, clean showcases. Okay, gracias. Eh, y por último, ese... you can say shop window. No. No, no, no. No. Uh -huh. Showcase in this case. All right. Eh... Because shop window is the one that goes to the. Es la que da al pasillo o a la calle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, how can I say in English? Uh, no, 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 no. Este, eh, ay, ¿cómo sería? Uh, ay, es que el profesor ya lo ha dicho, pero se me ha olvidado. <coughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, tell me, tell me, tell me. Sí, es que estoy tratando de recordar. Este, bueno, eh, atender a los clientes. Attend clients or help help clients in this case. Okay. Eso creo que sería todo. Sí, eso sería en mi caso. ¿Y en el suyo, Esmeralda? Eh, lo mismo, soy dependiente de farmacia, limpio, vendo. Y pues, ah, ordenamos, tal vez. Uh -huh. Ver fechas de vencimiento. ¿Cómo sería revisar producto? Check. Check product. Check, ah, eso. Ok. Gracias. ¿Cómo sería la última? Check. Check product. Can you, can you read? No puede escribir. Check. Ajá, ese sí sé cómo se escribe, pero la otra parte. Product. Ah. Y hoy cuando digas, hay lavadoras. Ah, claro. ¿Cómo sería otra? ¿Dónde se movió? Ah, como dice Esmeralda, enviar domicilios. Deliveries, send deliveries. Ok. ¿El metal? Ok, ok. Creo que eso sería todo, ¿no? Ya. Uh -huh. ¿Usted está de acuerdo, Elisa? No, mucho escucha, creo que. Sí, es que ya puso que no escucha muy bien porque se le va la señal. Pero. You, eh, can, you can send her the, the sentences by the chat. Pueden enviarle las oraciones por el chat. No tenga su uh -huh. visible. Teacher, dijo verdad, solo delivery. Yeah, send, send deliveries. Ah, uh, send delivery. Ok. S E N D, ¿verdad? Mm, gracias. Ok. Hoy sí creo que estamos listos. Ay. Clerk, clerk is that word, right? Eh, the last eh, Again, lesson the you say eh, pharmacy clerk. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I have, I have this in my, in my, in my. Me equivoqué. Ah, me equivoqué. En el caso de la cajera se sería diferente. Cashier. 
cobrar a los clientes, ¿cómo sería? No se puede. No. Ok. Uh, collect. Collect. Clients. Payments. Collect client payments. Doing, sell cookies, yes. sell, okay. sell cookies, do inventory. Mm -hmm. Sell cookies, sell cookies, esa, quítale el da. Yep, like that, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Gracias. Perfect. Inventory, inventory. Inventory. Esa también aplica, aplicaría para nosotros, Esmeralda. La...
Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see, who starts? Um, <laughs> Atenas, please. Introduce yourself and your activities. My activities? Yeah. Okay. Present yourself, introduce yourself. My name is Atena Banegas. My occupation is lawyer and make a contract, uh, go to the visit the government, official government and legal ad ad advice. Ad yes, legal advice. Okay, um, give, give legal advice or provide. In your yeah. case, will, the most appropriate will be provide. Provide legal advice. Okay. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, Brian. See? Your turn, please. Eh, mis actividades de cualquiera de ellas. No, yours, yours. Introduce yourself. Yes. Eh, my name is Brian Rivas. También tengo que decir la posición y todo yeah, el work. Exactly. Oh, okay. My name is Brian Rivas. Eh, occupation Logic Assistant. Workplace home. My activities. Yes. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. I'm sorry. No sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Eh, recepcionista de producto. I'm sorry. Receptionist. No, Reci receiving. Ajá, re receiving. Reci ah, receiving. Receiving. Product. Product. Okay. Ajá. Eh, orden product, ordenar producto. Okay. Y hmm. me pare address. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a little thing. Order product. Order. Si usted Order. Dice, sí. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me explain something. If you tell me, si usted me dice, order. Product. Eso es ordenar producto, pero se refiere a que usted lo pide, lo solicita. Ah, no es en forma de, de, no. de ubicarlo en su lugar. No. In that case, is put in order. Mm. Okay. Okay. Put in order some product. It's different, right? Different. Okay. okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Catherine. Hello, teacher. It's your turn. <laughs> yo, yo, yo no entendí muy bien, pero voy a decir lo que entendí. Let's do it. Um, my name is Catherine Morales. My occupation is layer, seller, perdón, no layer, sería verdad. Seller. Es que soy promotora, pero también se le llaman impulsadoras. Ok, it's seller, o, you can say seller. O promoventa. <laughs> seller. Yeah. Bueno, entonces, my occupation is seller. My activities, um, um uh, at work are to pro promote my product in in pharmacies okay um okay. visit different departments 
Ajá. porque ando de Huachapán a Cara Sucia, de Cara Sucia a Santa Ana, de Santa okay. Ana a San Salvador y así sucesivamente. Um, tal vez. Ok, perfecto, thank you. Braulio, your turn. Thank you. Hola. Thank you, thank you, Katherine. Ah, thank you, thank you, teacher. Braulio, your microphone. Hello, okay, perfect. Hello, teacher. Uh, hello, my name is Braulio Sosa. My occupation is a closer. My activities are set up order. Uh, uh, transfer of em emergency. Okay. Taking uh, of medicine. Perfect. Thank you, Braulio. Now let's see. Okay. Angelica. Uh, my name is Angelica. My occupation is uh, vice manager, workplace, pharmacist la vida. My activities uh, sell and to receiving product and prepare. Eso es, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Pre, no, prepare, prepare. Prepare. Uh, prepare. Prepare. No, listen. Prepare. Prepare. Okay, prepare, yes. Prepare address. addresses, no sé, addresses. Como preparar domicilios y hacerlo también. Mm, no. Prepare deliveries. Prepare deliveries. Eh, ok. Y en ese caso, ¿cómo sería entonces? Porque no es la actividad, pre es preparar, ajá, preparar domicilios y hacer los envíos. The deliveries and send them like this. Prepare deliveries and send them. Prepare deliveries and send them and send. Them. Okay. Thank you. Finish. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Marvin. Your turn. Marvin, your microphone. Hello, my name is Harvey Romero. My occupation is Bush manager. My activities, service application, injection, service de application. Injections, ouch. Y, Customer support. Okay, perfect. Customer support. Support. ¿Cómo es? Customer support. Support. Like that. Perfect. Excellent. Mike Sales Report. Okay. Mike Sales. Finish. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Teresa. Hello. Hello. My name is Maria Teresa Gonzalez. Position branch manager. Um, activities, seller medicine. Apply, uh, ¿Cómo se dice aplicar? Apply. Apply injection report. Y revisar. Review. Review. Check. 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 Check show. Check show face. Vitrinas. Okay. Yes. Uh, clean and order uh, product products. Close the close the pharmacy. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, Desiree, your turn. 
Hi, my name is Karen Menjiva. My occupation is marketing manager. And my activities is I planning to event and carry our project, develop that marketing plans, and go to visit the client. Client. Clients. Say the client. Clients. Clients. Perfect. Clients. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Esmeralda. Hi, my name is Maranda Vasquez. Uh, I, I position work is, is pharmacy clerk. Um, my activist is clean showcase, uh, check products, and some deliveries. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see who's next, who's next, who's missing. Mm -hmm. uh, Claudia. Hello. Hello, Claudia. Your turn. My name is Claudia Flamenco. Uh, occupation supervisor. Uh -huh. uh, Activity, activity eh, ay, ya me perdí. Eh, revit, oh. revit documents. Check eh, documents. Check documents. Eh, eh, Chequear el personal es como... Check che personal. Check personal y... Eh, visitar dos salas en el día. No sé cómo, cómo puedo decir eso. Visit to... Uh, 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 um. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you say it like this. Sales room, sales room. We see two sales rooms. Visit to. Visit to. Visit to. Sales room. Sales room. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, oh, Xiomara is still on her way home, right? Gabriela? Hi. Okay, uh, Gabriela, your turn. Uh, my name is Gabriela Zelaya. Uh, I'm a, a pharmacy clerk. Uh, I sell medicines, uh, help clients, send deliveries, uh, check products, and putting on them. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, let's see. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Let me get the second attendance because, believe it or not, it's time. Ana Maritza Flores Salvellón, Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar, Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa, Present. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez, Claudia Teresa Flamenco, 
Present. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present, teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Karen Desiree Menjibar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present, teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present, teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Yamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's go to the next sure, part este, of the Me mencionó. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Sí. Yep. No escuché, perdón. No problem, no problem. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's continue. Okay. We're going to work in the manual right now. Page number 19 in the manual. Let me share with you. There we go, okay, let's see. The instruction, listen to your teacher read the following job positions, then match them with the activities they perform. Okay. We have a bookkeeper, financial analyst, human resources specialist, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, software engineer, and the activities keep track of the financial accounts of companies, know the policies and regulations involving the management of employees, help people and companies against financial loss and manage risks, help people in business manage their finances, create and advertise the company over the social media, design and develop different softwares. Okay, these are the activities and you need to match. So that means that you need to write the letter in the space. Like bookkeeper, what is good bookkeeper? This expression means exactly the same as to say accountant, okay? A bookkeeper is an accountant, Esto es un contador, okay? So remember, you need to do the match. How are you gonna do it? Working in pairs, working in small groups. You will have four minutes to do the pairing, okay? Let's see, please jump in.
Bookkeeper. 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 Las dos. Dice que ayuda a las personas a comprar o qué dice ahí. Dice las dos. Yo entiendo que dice ayuda a las a personas y, y a empresas. Y a sus finanzas. Uh, ajá, ajá. Como a sociedades. Sus, a administrar sus finanzas. Algo así entiendo. ¿Será? Ajá, es, Esa es la, la B. Analista ajá, analista financiero. Me imagino que es la, la B. Ajá. La B. Financial vale. Analyst. La tres. Dice, dice conoce políticas y regulaciones sobre ay no, ¿qué dice ahí? Sobre manejo de empresas, de empleados. Política de regulación. La tres, ¿verdad? Sí, la tres estamos viendo. Mira. Empleado quiere decir employees. Employees quiere decir empleado. ¿Qué le ponemos ahí? Eh, especialista en recursos humanos y ese cuál es el que no, no es ese yo digo que recursos es la humanos. 3 yo creo que es la C la C va uh -huh. habla de personal y regulaciones y de como de no 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 la 5 la cinco es la 5 es la C porque dice Help people and companies against financial loss and manage risk against against Against. 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 Pues la cinco es la, es la C. Yo digo que la, yo digo que la C es la tres. Yo lo entiendo. Quiero ver. Let's see. Number three. Number three. Human rights resource. Human rights. Uh, uh, y compañía sobre. sobre. Number so, three, let's see. Now the product, which one you say? Now the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. That's a human resources specialist. Mm. Uh, human, es la C, entonces. Es la C, el número tres es la C. Es la C, yep. ah, bye. Uh, Ah, no, nada más perdida. Okay. La cuarta one... crea. Oh, create. Oh, that's create it. En... A ver, dice de compañía de social media. Crea. Mm, digital Marketing Manager. ¿En cuál? En la cuatro. La cuatro. La cuatro. Si el analista se refiere. Which one are you working on? Ajá, translating. Mm. Uh -huh. Which one are you working on? <laughs> Financial analyst. Uh -huh. Financial analyst. Oh, that's number two. Number two. Yeah, how people in businesses manage their finances. Their finances. Yes, pues sí, la tengo bien. Vaya, vio, ¿qué le dije? Vaya, number one, the A. Es... Number one is a bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who uh -huh. is financial analyst? Three is human resources. How do you say recursos uh -huh. humanos? Human resources specialist. Human resources specialist. Mm -hmm. Number mm -hmm. four, digital marketing manager. Yeah. Five is está en orden, vea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you find you found out. Exactly. Oh. Oh. 
insure. 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 No, Insurance. Insurance agent. That's agent. number five. Yes. Five is letter E. Yeah. Insurance agent. And C is software engineer. Okay. Okay. Dice, ay, es como que ayuda ayuda a las personas como el de recursos humanos recursos humanos ¿ves? Lo sé. ayuda a las personas y las empresas sobre riesgos de pérdida de gestión algo así. No, 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 no. Creo que sería de esos humanos. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí, porque el otro no se me existe, ¿no? Sí, no sí, pues, porque el, el no, otro no. es el hardware y el ingeniero. Porque la otra que se le asimila es la. Oh, no, no va. La F no, estaba ahí. La, no, la F. No, Which one are you in? Which one are you in? Just one. Which one are you in? ¿Por cuál van? Number five, insurance. Number five. El uh, number five es. es Eh, sería la human resource, ¿no? No, no, no. Human, human resources, number three. Number three. So. Yeah. Um, Hi, teacher. Hello. Finish? Yeah. Finish. Easy, right? Really easy. Yeah, I know, I know. Hoy sí me sacó rápido de la sesión. <risa> yes, sometimes the system does that. A veces dependiendo de la señal, el sistema lo hace. Uh -huh. Hello. Okay, let's see. You ready, guys? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we are here. And let's see who's gonna help me. Well, can I write that? Number 
number one. Braulio, tell me what is number one. Uh, bookkeeper. Bookkeeper, letter A. Perfect, thank you. Let's see. Okay, teacher. Angelica, tell me number two. Hello. Es este el literal B. Financial analyst. Okay, perfect. Help people in businesses manage their finances. Finances, okay. That's a financial analyst. Okay, number three. Number three. Let's see. Uh, Atenas, number three. Letter C. Letter human, C. Human resource, human resource specialist. Perfect. Number four. Uh, Claudia. Es teacher es digital marketing eh, manager. manager. Uh -huh. Okay, digital, digital. Di digital. Okay, perfect. Number five, Esmeralda. Uh, is F software engineer. Okay, letter F software engineer. Mm. Ah, me dijo la cinco. Yes, no, number five is not uh. that. <laughs> yeah, there's. Ah, no, esa es um, la I. La yeah, I, insurance, insurance agent. Ajá, ajá, eso. Insurance agent. Sí. Insurance agent. Perfect. And next one, let's see. Uh, Gabriela Celaya, uh, number six. Software engineer. Software engineer, that's letter F. Perfect, thank you. Now let's see next, uh, that was Gabriela. Karen, decide, please read number one, keep track. Okay. Uh, Bookkeeper, bookkeeper keep track of the financial financial accounts of companies. Financial, financial. Fin, financial, financial. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Catherine, read number two. Um, ahorita, profe, ando medio perdida. <laughs> Read right here, help people. Um, financial analyst help help people. People. <laughs> people. Um, business manager. Business. Business manager. And uh, here finances. Okay, finances. Finance. 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 Okay. Uh, Katia, number three. Um, this um, human resource specialist. And now the policies, the policies and regulation involved in the management of employees. Okay. Now the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay. Maria Teresa. Um, a four, Number right? four. Yes, please. Uh, 
digital marketing manager create and advert, advertise the company over social media. Social media. Social media. Media, media. Media, media, social okay. media. Perfect. Marvin, number five. Sería a five, ¿verdad? Yeah, number five. Sure, huh? Angel, help people and company again financial loss and manage fix. No. Okay, insurance agent, insurance agent, help people and companies against financial loss and manage risks. Manage risks. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Rebecca, you got number six. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Um, this week, um, they will love different software. Okay, a software engineer design and develop different softwares. Design en ¿Cómo me dijo la otra palabra? Develop. Develop. Design and develop different software. Yeah, okay, perfect. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, what about the five? Send you the audio. Se lo voy a grabar la pronunciación so you can have it and practice it. Bookkeeper. Keep track of the financial accounts of companies. Financial analyst. Help people in businesses manage their finances. Human resource specialist. Know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Digital marketing manager. Create and advertise the company over the social media. Insurance agent. Help people and companies against financial loss and manage risk. Software engineer, design and develop different softwares. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, guys, now we are going to go to grammar explanation. Vamos a una explicación gramatical, okay? I have prepared a presentation so we can check out the simple present tense. Tengo una presentación que he preparado. I will share it as a PDF later. Se la voy a compartir luego con un PDF. It's related to the simple present. And I tell you that I'm going to, to share it with you. Le digo que se la voy a compartir so you don't need to be copying, okay? Just Pay attention. Así no se preocupa por copiar. Solamente presten atención, ¿ok? At the end of the class, I will send it to you. Al final de la clase se las envío. Ok, ok. Let's see. Let me share. Okay, the present simple tense. Okay, positive and negative. Now, the simple present tense. Look, I like cheese, we like cheese, you like cheese, 
they like cheese. Very simple, you see? Subject. Uh, then we have the verb, and then we have the complement. That's the affirmative. Look, when we are talking about I, we, you, and they, you just need the subject, right? This is the subject. Then we have the verb. And then we have the complement. You see, we have the subject here, the verb, the complement. Very simple. That's for the affirmative. Now, we have also the negative. If you notice, we have here in the negative, we have the subject, but then we have, look, the auxiliary. Plus not. Then we have the verb and we have the complement. You see, subject, auxiliary, do, the, neg the negation, not, contracted, don't. Then you have the verb, and then you have the complement. Okay, subject plus verb plus complement, affirmative, negative, subject plus auxiliary, not, the verb, and the complement. Now, when we are talking about he, she, or it, cuando hablamos de él, de ella, o de un objeto, o de un animal, look, the verb, en la forma afirmativa, the verb takes the S. Al verbo le ponemos una S. You see? The structure is the same. La estructura es la misma. Subject, verb, complement. Right? Subject, verb, complement. But look, in the negative, we have doesn't. La S o S que se le agrega a la forma afirmativa, en la forma negativa se le agrega, pero al auxiliar, vean, do became does. Y con la negación. Like, he likes cheese, she likes cheese, it likes cheese. He doesn't like cheese, she doesn't like cheese, it doesn't like cheese. So, what do we mean by this? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a entender acá? Very simple. When we are talking about I, you, we, they, we use the auxiliary do plus no. You see? Como ustedes podrán ver cuando hablo de yo, tú, nosotros, ellos. The auxiliary is do. Now, when we use, when we are talking about, cuando hablamos de he, she, it, the auxiliary becomes does. Plus, not. ¿Se entiende hasta acá? Questions? Preguntas? O sea que... Eh, a ver. 
El do solo aplica para I, we, you, they. Exactly. Y does, he, she, it. Exactly. Mm. Okay. Mm. For positive and he, she, it only is. Es or es. Don't worry. Eso lo explico más adelantito que en la presentación. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Any other question? Teacher. No. Yes, yes, tell me. Uh, y cuando, cuando contratamos. El, por ejemplo, I don't, ¿cómo sería en ese, en ese tiempo? Do not contract don't. I don't, you don't, we don't. Ah, ok. Ok. Now, something that I want to be clear, very clear about. Algo que quiero que estén muy claros. Because sometimes that's kind of confusing. Para algunos quizás puede ser un poco confuso. In the negative, do and does. What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa? In this case, cuando lleva el not a la par pegado, don't, don't or doesn't, no significa nada. And you go like, then, esta me sería entonces. Okay. It helps us, nos ayuda, to understand that the verb, el verbo que está a continuación, is in present. Está en presente. Why? Auxiliaries are very important in English. Le voy a dar una explicación breve, breve, para que quedemos claros en eso. Auxiliaries are very important in English because of this. They help us understand the tense. Nos ayudan a entender el tiempo. Look. I don't... I don't like... Uh, I don't like soccer. No, 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 that's, that's not true. I don't like, oh, I don't like pupusas. A mí no me gustan las pupusas. Eso es pecado. Yeah, but it's true, pero es real. I don't. Now, look. Profe. Okay. Yes. Vaya, pero mire, y allí en la primera, yo no sé si, si se puede. Si se puede poner separado, la de arriba. Ahí yes, of not. course. No hay problema. Yeah. Now, let me explain something. The only difference is this. When you are writing, cuando usted está escribiendo, you have to write full form. Tiene que escribir forma completa. But when you are speaking, people speak with contractions. Las personas hablan con contracciones. Vaya, okay. mire a ver si a ver si entendí de que es el, el do y el do es no, no significa nada agregándole el not ahí sí o como no Se con, no es que vaya mire el do y el, el do es el verbo hacer Ajá. pero cuando tiene el not a la par se ha convertido y luego viene otro verbo se ha convertido en un auxiliar lo que está haciendo es dándonos a entender que el verbo En este caso, si usted ve el verbo principal de esta oración es like, que este verbo está en presente. Yeah. Yo les explico que los auxiliares son muy importantes porque si usted mira acá, esto es otro auxiliar, es el do, pero en pasado. Este verbo sigue estando en presente, mire, like. Pero en la primera oración dice, no me gustan las pupusas. En la segunda oración dice, no me gustaba. No me gustaba. El auxiliar me dio a entender a mí que este verbo que está acá, yo lo debo de entender en pasado. ¿Ok? Ya. Yeah. Now, look at this. Ahora vea esto. I will like pupusas. Esto es un auxiliar. The auxiliary for the future. If you notice, in, en estos tres tiempos, el verbo no ha cambiado. Pero el auxiliar me está dando a entender a mí que este verbo, acá lo entendí en presente, acá en pasado, acá en futuro. 
That's the function of the auxiliary. Esa es la función del auxiliar. To make me understand in which tense the verb is understood. Darme a entender en qué, cómo voy a yo a usar el verbo, cómo lo estoy entendiendo. En qué tiempo. Y eso, y eso sería um, en, la, en lo que nos explicó de los, de los pronombres, se puede decir así, de los, no, de los sujetos. Oh. Se puede The difference is this. O así como lo dividió. No, así como se lo mandé. Ok. The situation is this. Yo les decía a ustedes la vez pasada que lo de los pronombres simplemente es que te entendamos. Normalmente nos han enseñado solo con pronombres, pero el pronombre sustituye un nombre. Usted usa o el pronombre o usa el nombre. No usa los dos. Pero hay muchas ocasiones en las cuales usted va a usar el nombre. Por ejemplo, si usted me quiere decir que la casa se está inundando, no me va a decir if the house, me va a decir it is getting water, it is leaking water. O me dice the house is, pero no usa las dos cosas. Ahora, esa es una oración afirmativa. The house, the house uh, has leaks, la casa tiene goteras. Negativo, the house como es tercera persona, la casa. Yo entiendo de que es la tercera persona, para la tercera persona estoy hablando de él, de ella o de eso. The house does not. ¿Por qué? Porque la palabra the house, la expresión de house, yo la sustituyo por it. ¿Ok? The house does not have leaks. ¿Ok? Ahí es donde aplica. ¿Se me entiende, Roberto? Ya ahora sí lo entiendo. Perfect. Excellent. Any other question? No? Okay, let's continue. Okay, we were here. Now, remember, when we have questions, it changes. Cuando tenemos preguntas, cambia. El que cambia del orden. Oh que mandamos el auxiliar al inicio. Do I like cheese? Do you like cheese? Do we like cheese? Do they like cheese? The order changes. Look. Does he like cheese? Does she like cheese? Does it like cheese? Cambió el orden. Ok. Oops, sorry. The order changes. So now the structure in this case is like this. La estructura en este caso es así. For questions, we have the auxiliary. And the auxiliary can be, el auxiliar puede ser do or does, dependiendo del sujeto, right? Plus subject. Plus there plus complement plus question. Este es el orden de la estructura para una pregunta. Auxiliary, do or does. Subject, I, you, we, they, or he, she, he. Bear, bear, like complement, cheese. Y luego, question. If you remember, uh, last week, le comentábamos esto con Esmeralda. This structure applies, esta estructura aplica, for all the verbs with the exception of the verb be. Esta estructura aplica para todos los verbos en presente simple, exceptuando el verbo cero estar, que ese ya le expliqué la estructura, que es muy distinto. Ok. Now, the answers, las respuestas. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Or, estamos hablando de respuestas cortas afirmativas. ¿no? Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, he does. Negative. No, I don't. No, you don't. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay. Questions? Preguntas acá? Teacher. Yep. Entonces, cuando digo, yeah, I do, en eh, forma, 
eh, afirmativa, eh, es correcta la... Yes, I do. Eh, ajá, ¿cómo lo escribo y cómo lo digo? Yes, como por ejemplo le digo, eh, Braulio, do you work for... Uh, Ah, trabaja en la Braulio. Homie, right? Homie. Do you work for Homie? Yes, I do. Perfect. Ok, ok. Yo le pregunto a Braulio, hey Braulio, do you work for uh, uh, um, Unilever? Uh, yes, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, no, I don't. Perfect, you see? No, Very simple. No, I don't. Okay. Any other question? Preguntas? No? Let's continue. Oops. Okay. When do we use it? ¿Cuándo lo utilizamos en presente simple? To express habits, hábitos. We use the present simple to talk about things we do all the time. Cosas que hacemos todo el tiempo. Examples. I get the service bus at 7 every morning. John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. I play football at break time. My sister goes sailing on the weekends. You see? These are habits. Estos son hábitos. Ok. Things we do all the time. Cosas que hacemos todo el tiempo. We use it to express things that are always true. Cosas que son verdad siempre. We use the present simple to talk about things that are always true. The sky is blue. El cielo es azul. The earth goes round the sun. La tierra gira alrededor del sol. I am a student. Tigers are big cats. Okay. Now, remember, verbs ending in CH, S, S, H, O, X, los verbos que terminan en estas letras agregan ES. ¿Cuándo? Solo en la forma afirmativa, tercera persona. Esto aplica solo para la tercera persona de la forma afirmativa. Tercera persona del singular, perdón. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Ah, ok. Esto lo vamos a utilizar solo, solo y exclusivamente cuando hablemos de he, she, or it. Affirmative form. Ok. Only then. Solamente entonces. ¿Ok? Solo en la forma afirmativa de he, she, or it aplica esta regla. Que nosotros le hacemos esto al verbo. If we have a verb that ends in ch, s, sh, o, x, we add es. Watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fixes. Verbs ending in a consonant. B, C, D, F, G. Change. Verbos que terminan en una consonante más Y. Cambian la Y a y latina y agregan S. Study, studies. Carry, carries. Fly, flies. ¿Ok? Solamente si terminan en estas consonantes y... Y. Bueno, en cualquier consonante. Y luego tiene Y, le agregamos IS. ¿Ok? Si el, recuérdense, si el verbo termina en una consonante, cualquier consonante, y después de la consonante tiene Y, la vamos a cambiar a I latina. Siempre aplica solo para la forma afirmativa de he, she, or it. I'm sorry that I brought you here. Perdón que lo envié acá. Pero lo que le agregué ahí, I need to send it apart.
Okay, there you go. Questions up to now? Preguntas? Profe, ahí es donde dice will. Y es pasado, presente, futuro. No, eso era futuro. Lo puse solo como ejemplo para que entendiéramos futuro. la función de los auxiliares. Pero ahorita no se compliquen eso. Bye. Ok. ¿Por qué era, Pablo? Olviden. Right now, just simple present. Just simple present. Ok. Yeah. ¿Shall I continue? ¿Puedo continuar? Yep. Yes. Tell me if you are understanding or not. Díganme si van entendiendo o no. Si no, yo les preparo algo distinto. Yes, I understand. Perfect, perfect. Ok, let me share again. Vamos a compartir de nuevo. Ok. Ok, let's see. Ok, let's see. Ok, now, let's see if you understood. Vamos a ver si es cierto que entendieron. Find the mistakes. Do he like basketball? I like eating pizza. She do her homework on the service bus. The phone finish at A. My friends go on holiday next week. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Nicole Kidman act in a lot of films. We place in the garden at break. Our teacher talk very clearly. Okay, guys. Todas tienen error. You need to find the error. I'm going to send you to the groups. You will have exactly three minutes. Van a tener solo tres minutos. To tell me where's the error, okay? It's not fair, we need more. <laughs> no, there's no more time, three minutes. I just send it to the group so you can have it there. Ya se la envía al grupo. And hurry up. La tercera, ahí sí va, she does, she does, ¿cómo es todo? She does, no, no, en ella es das, acuérdese que dijo que ella es das, she does her, she does, she does, yes, she does her homework, perfect, homework, 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 La cuarta es I do like eating pizza. ¿Cómo? I do like eating pizza. Sí, creo yo que es. No, I like. Sí. En la segunda lo que está de más es la S. Es la S. Le, ag le agrego S o S al verbo solamente cuando estoy hablando de la tercera persona. No puede llevar el do porque estoy Siento en una oración una afirmativa. Okay. Y el do y el das, los auxiliares se utilizan para negative and interrogative. Ajá, okay. uh -huh, ya bien. Okay, okay. 
Sí. O sea que sería el I eating the pigs, pigs. Eating. I like. I like eating Ahí está, she do her. Ahí está mal. Sí. Porque está diciendo dos veces. Sí. Ella, she ¿verdad? does. She does. She does. Acuérdense Ajá. que ahí el do no está trabajando como auxiliar. ¿Por qué? Porque no hay otro verbo a la par. Uh -huh. Ahí está Das. Uh, ¿Cuál vamos? Uh, sí. <laughs> she does. She does. Um, sí. En ese caso, si usted das. se fija, el do no está funcionando como un auxiliar, sino como verbo, porque no hay un verbo a la par, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ahí es el verbo hacer. Entonces, en este caso, hay que agregarle ES. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de ella. She does. Uh, uh, she, she does. She does here, entonces. Her homework. Okay. En number two, eh, sería el que hay que sustituir es el I, ¿verdad? Porque está hablando de, de, de dos o más personas. Yes, I like. ¿Por qué está en plural el like? No, 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 no. A ver, los verbos nunca están en plural. No, el... Bueno, ajá. ¿En cuál es? ¿De qué oración estamos hablando? ¿Número dos? De la dos. De la dos. Okay. I like eating pigs. Lo que sucede aquí es esto. La S o la ES solo lo vamos a agregar cuando estemos hablando de él, de ella o de eso. En esa oración, ¿de quién estamos hablando? I, yo. No le quitamos la S. I like eating pizza. Mm. Okay. Lo que pasa es esto. Eh, el plural del verbo, eso existe en español, que decimos com, comen, comemos. Yeah. Pero en inglés no. En inglés es el sujeto el que nos dice. Si está en singular o si está en plural. Pero la regla no tiene que ver con si es singular o si es plural. La regla tiene que ver con el sujeto específicamente. ¿Ok? Para he, she, or it, le quitamos la S. Perdón, para he, she, or it, le ponemos la S o ES. Para el resto de sujetos, no la llevo. Okay. Veamos la número cuatro. The film finishes at eight. El film es un objeto, ¿verdad? Una cosa. It. ¿Qué nos dice la regla? Que a eso nosotros le tenemos que poner S o S. Entonces, tenemos finish. Ah, pero si usted se acuerda la regla, dice que después de SH, nosotros, ¿qué agregamos? Después de la, de la S y la H. Se lo mandé al, al WhatsApp. Le agregamos ES. ES. Okay. En ese caso ahí, yo solo le he puesto una S. Ah, está errado. The film finishes. Uh. Pero como ahorita ya no se La última si no sé cómo va. No, es así ni yo tampoco. Our teacher talks. Yes. Our teacher talks. Uh -huh. Talks. Con yes. e ES. No, solo la ES. Porque uh -huh. estamos hablando de uh -huh. nuestro maestro. ¿Quién es nuestro maestro? He. Sí. <risa> Cuando hablamos de nuestro maestro, estamos hablando de él. No worry, this is going to be this is going to be a homework, okay? No preocupes, esto va a ser una tarea. Our teacher Because told it's time.
Xiomara, Xiomara, hello. Okay, guys, a little bit difficult, right? A little difficult. Yeah, it's more difficult than others. Don't worry, don't worry. It's going to be like a homework. So, okay? We're going to check it tomorrow. So, you can check it slowly. Okay? And tomorrow, I'm going to solve it for you. Y mañana yo se lo resuelvo. And I will, I will be explaining one by one. Lo vamos a resolver y vamos a explicar uno por uno. Okay, Maria Teresa, you need to explain all of them. Tiene que explicármelos todos. Now. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Maria Teresa goes like, no way. <laughs> Me asustó. <laughs> okay, guys. What about this? ¿Qué les parece? Because it's time. Yo sé que es tarde. Uh, what about if tomorrow uh, I will solve it for you, lo voy a resolver para ustedes, and I will be explaining one by one. Yo sé que ustedes ya lo tienen. Téngalo en mente, revíselo. Y mañana yo lo voy a resolver para ustedes y les voy a ir explicando cada oración. El porqué de la corrección, ¿ok? So, keep your notes. Mantenga sus notas. Because it's going to help you to check out if you did right or if you had a mistake. Le va a servir para revisar si estaba bien o si en algo se equivocó. Is it okay for you? ¿Les parece? Yes. It's okay. Yes. Yeah, because, you know, Maria Teresa wanted to solve them all, but I tell her no. Maria Teresa no quería resolver todo, pero le digo que no. <laughs> Profe. Yo bien emocionada y ahí. <laughs> She's really fast. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, mire, para pronunciar las palabras. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> para pronunciar las palabras y todo, le digo yo, sí es como una obligación aprenderse el abecedario, ¿verdad? O no. Not necessarily, because the English is not the same as in Spanish. Los sonidos en inglés no son como en español. En español, si usted se aprende el abecedario, en nuestro fonético, nosotros tenemos vocales, consonantes, las mismas forman un sonido, esos sonidos van formando palabras. En inglés no funciona igual. Mm. Okay, Solo que tenemos que tener más oído. <laughs> yeah, but that's a matter of practice. Es una cuestión de práctica, don't worry. Okay, guys, now let's see. I need to get the final attendance because some of you are going to go to sleep right now. Algunos de ustedes creo que ya van a alcanzar, right? With the exception of uh, Claudia. Claudia needs to stay with me tonight a little bit. Let's see, Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón, Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar, Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa, Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Thank you, Elisa. Present. Thank you, Esmeralda. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya. Present. Karen Desiree Mengíbar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González Belemos. Present teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellanos. No está. Milna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca de Carmen Morales Molina. Present. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. 
Okay, guys, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Nice class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night, take care. Good night, teacher. Hi, Martin. Well, let's see, Claudia was supposed to stay tonight.